Hey guys, it's Dean. I'm sitting here uh, at Ken's Car Star, which happens to be a sponsor of Run For God and been a faithful sponsor for years. Um, they do a lot to help us. One of the things that they do is they allow us to put drinks out in the morning for our runners on Saturday mornings when we do our long runs. A lot of times we do our long runs out here. You can see there's a busy highway behind me. There's a sidewalk down that highway. And a lot of times we spend a lot of hours running up and down uh, that highway. And so this morning was no different. We did that. And, um, but what was significant about this morning was I ran into a friend of mine this morning. Um, that friend of mine, her name is Krista. Um, she's been running, I guess, six or eight years. Um, and she began running in a class that I taught back six or eight years ago uh, at, at a place where I used to work. Well, I remember Krista coming to me uh, after we had started that class and asking, what if you put all of this work into trying to, to change people's lives and trying to, and, and, then, and then nobody decides to become a runner, nobody really um, changes what they're doing based on, on all this work that you're putting in. And I said, well, Krista, I said, if one person changes what they do or changes the trajectory of their, their health or their life based on what we're doing, it's totally worth it. Well, guess who that person came, came to be? <laughs> it was Krista, and I saw her this morning, and it's just so exciting to see, uh, to see her out here um, pounding the roads and still going at it for, on something that she started back then, and it was a tough thing for her. We had some other people from that same class that uh, have done some big things. One girl lost over 100 pounds um, since then, and so it's just really, really neat to see um, the impact um, that you can have and I, a couple of thoughts crossed my mind when I thought about that I thought first I thought you know a lot of times we're reluctant to start things because we're overwhelmed by them you know I meet people who are Bible scholars and I think God oh, would love to have their Bible knowledge well you know at one time they didn't have that knowledge and they had to start somewhere running's the same way right and sometimes we're, we're overwhelmed by things we shouldn't be overwhelmed by um, and that, that's one of those things. So uh, I challenge you, if there's something out there you've always wanted to do, but you feel like it's overwhelming to you, um, maybe today is the day to start that thing. And then eight years down the road, you'll realize, wow, that was totally worth all of that effort. Uh, so anyway, just, just a thought for the day. Um, I love running into to folks that, uh, that are old running buddies uh, and talking to him and catching up with him. So I got a chance to do that this morning. It was a great morning. Um, don't forget that our Dalton Parks Triathlon is upon us. Uh, get registered. If you haven't already done it, you need to do it right now. Pause this video, register, and then come back and finish it. Um, also, don't forget our Instructor Summit coming up in December and our My Hope America 5K in conjunction with that. We would love to see you there. Um, so get registered for those things. Go to runforgod.com and find all the goodies that we've got out there. Um, it's, it's always good to get some new stuff to motivate us for, uh, for summertime. It's hot out here. And you know, we, it's not just hot out here. We're running out here next to a highway and it's, uh, it's not just hot, but it's busy. And I don't know, there's just something about, um, about summertime that makes it tough to get motivated sometimes. Um, but you know, a new t-shirt sometimes makes me really motivated. So uh, anyway, we love what you do for Run For God. We thank you for all that you do to support Run For God. Uh, now go out there and shine his light.